Hello and welcome to an EU4 time lapse. Um, so this is the first thing for me. Uh, I've recorded this. So this is post commentary, and I've got kind of bored on the game and decided that I'd go into observer mode since I was aware of the command. So yeah, here we are. This is a random new world. It was very interesting. There's this one because the continent here closest to Europe is all Western. Well, is all High American tech group. And there's no room to colonize, so it takes a long time before Europe even gets over there. Down here, the Obsidian Empire in the upper uh, left is mine, with the one that I abandoned after starting an ill-advised war. Mostly because I formed it, and then like I had no army after I started the war, and then stuff happened. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I don't think that island ever fully unites here. Oh yeah, this was cool. Ah, uh, Aragon beat Castile, and they released uh, Leon and Galatia. Later that turns into like France. It happened a few times now in my games. It's kind of interesting that Castile just dies under AI control recently. This was before the most recent DLC, I think. This was back in April, the second week of it, or two weeks before the end. Um, I just haven't gotten around to recording this voiceover until now, June 1st. So yeah, kind of like a month. Uh, this is like probably seven or eight clips, so if there's any stuttering. Okay, here we have a nice view of the. We had a nice view of the world. Okay, Aragon's nice and big. That's the development there. Put this at eight times speed, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be actually able to comment on what's going what's going on. But you can hopefully can have an idea. So yeah, right now the city empire is dealing with some rebels. I believe at some point they eventually unify. Then there's some col col colonies down here. Asia has some interesting stuff, although we don't really get to see it a whole lot. Definitely throughout this, feel free if you're interested to pause, because I'm there's no way I'm going to be talking about all this. But it was kind of interesting too to just watch at normal speed. This is the first time I'm actually seeing it. Yeah, for now, Poisipi, uh, Tengapi, and are the two big ones there. All the big blank empires, Obsidian, the other ones form. Although, I'm not sure when. You can see Eastern Africa. I think Timbuktu or Mali does some fun stuff. There you can see the Ottomans have expanded north. They border Hungary now. They've taken out, looks like they've taken out that one guy. Ooh, something's happened in Spain. You can see that they're being, uh, they're all purple, brunish. Lithuania, eh, they seem normal. The looks like Novgorod's gone, judging from the edge of Muscovy. France is nice and big. Burgundy's appears to be missing some land, although England appears to have uh, lost their hold on the continent and have pushed down. Yeah, they took one province in the north of Aragon. Then Galatia is expanding out. Yeah, they become a major minor factor. They actually even colonized by the end. It's kind of cool to see. Ah, uh, what else is going on now? Again, there's that's the development and trade goods you can kind of see. Timbuktu is expanding. Uh, Lithuania is in some war, presumably with Russia. Uh, hmm. Well then. In the New World. Eh, looks kinda nice. New World. Something. Really nothing's going on there. It's kind of cool how long it takes. It's, like, it's a double whammy of all the wars in Iberia. And. England, France, all done. They're not colonizing anything, and then the closest col col colonizable stuff is like a million miles away. Uh, I have several saves of this. It might be fun to try to take over one of these countries and start colonizing. But actually, it's probably outdated by a patch, so I don't think I'll do that. I don't really like the back date. Uh, Poland looks like they got split up. There's Poland, and there's some big country in the south. It's probably going to get eaten by the Ottomans, I think, or someone. Maybe Hungary. Recently, I had a game where uh, Hungary was annexed by Austria due to a personal union. I was playing as Denmark, who managed to unify everything and then become Scandinavia. And I had Russia as my friend. They were huge. They had like most of Lithuania, they're down bordering the Ottomans and Poland. It's crazy. Not really a whole lot going on here. Nadar is also currently a big player in that middle and continent. Along with Polsai. It's like several big countries that rise and fall in that area. 
and see in the northern middle of our screen. So it's upper, but whatever. It's a map. North still counts. Huh. Something going, uh, England v. Scotland is happening. So like, yeah. So they have Burgundy against them and some other people. Against England, that is. But looks like Scotland is doing a surprisingly good job. Oh, actually I think Scotland, yeah, there you go. Scotland won that war. Took a nice little chunk of land there. It's kind of cool. Unfortunately, I think Great Britain comes back from that later. Oh well. Hmm. Oh yeah, Galicia, they're allied. They have that nice uh, Muslim block down there. Mali is getting eh, some war along with Timbuktu. What's going on there? Large network of wars. I wish I had shown Asia a bit because next time we see Asia a few hundred years in, I think. It gets kind of weird. It's like very interesting to see where they've gone with everything. Yeah, huh? Looks like some lands being annexed in the Eastern New World. Up in the north by Yamblard or whatever their name is. Can't quite tell from this far out. Again, more conflict in Middle Africa. Uh, who's that? Oh, is that Scotland that said? And you can pause that and see who owned that little piece of yellow land. Hmm. Looks like Ottomans are fighting Venice because some green uh, occupied area up by where it's normally Venice, Venetian, I think. Interesting. Oh, Ottomans oh, seem to have lost some territory in uh, Anatolia. It's going to be unfortunate for them. Nope, they've gained some territory in Anatolia, I think. Oh well. So good for them. Ooh, France is being occupied some more. France winds up being like, I said, the big kind of crescent over the northern Iberia and then the where they have now, maybe a little bit more into the Italian and Eastern Germanic states. Huh, looks like there's some wars in the very southern, colon like mostly in colonized area of the New World. Oh, here we go. New video. With a nice focus on the Europe and the New World. So let's see here, Ottomans have a nice stretch south, uh, most of uh, where we call that peninsula where there's a bunch of Arab countries, that's mostly mixed up, Persia is still strong, Muscovy is big, they have, oh they didn't kill Novgorod but they does look like they took some stuff from Livonian order, no I think that was Novgorodian, so they, maybe they took it from Livonia who took it from Novgorod, something happened in that area. Totally ignoring everything else. What else is going on here? Timbuktu is getting pretty big. I wonder if they're allied with Mali or not. Uh, ooh, some interesting stuff with Aragon. It looks like they're being occupied by Galatia. Yeah, they were attacked by Galatia, I think, judging from the colors. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, Castile then she gets uh, relegated to merely the Canaries and, like, yeah, by the end, only the Canaries. And Portugal also escapes to somewhere, I think. Pretty sure they do. Surprise Novgorod's still around. It's 1500, so it's been. must be allied with someone. Oh, nope, they're at war with Russia. Well, Muscovy now, but eventually they'll probably form Russia. Hmm. Meanwhile, looks like there's some war between Austria and that one Bohemia. Yeah. Took some land there. Yeah, Poland is definitely divided, so that's interesting. Denmark's annexed that one guy to their south that they have as a vassal at the start. Good for them. Once they'll incorporate Norway or Sweden first. I went with Sweden first in my game because they seem to be more of a problem most of the time. France has taken more from Aragon and Galicia. It looks like they've taken more from Aragon as well. Portugal even a thing. I mean, I imagine they are. Could be that they're just not. Hmm. Looks like the Mamlux versus Ottomans is going on right now. Yep, they took some land just north of uh, Israel. That's good for them. Gonna keep expanding south and east to prep for expanding north. Huh, what's that big purple blob to their on their northwestern border by Hungary? Eh, oh well. Maybe we'll find out, probably not. Probably I won't at least. Hmm. Yeah, that one big guy uh, eh. Yep, yeah, the Reformation's happening. Dar and that other place in the New World are shrinking under wars. Sell do you. So now it's the time of Manke and 
think those guys in the north northern corner of it do take some land. Interesting, that's tech, so France and England doing very well. Yep, England's pushed back Scotland now. Poor Scotland. Uh, the HRE is still doing fine. They still have the Italian uh, provinces, so that's nice for them, I imagine. I know I've had an event where they get dropped out of the Holy Roman Empire. Timbuktu, yep, Timbuktu is taken part of Mali, it looks like, or what was Mali. Nope, there's still some tiny bits of Mali there. Looks like they're fighting Dagbon. I wonder who comes out on top there. Oh, some conflicts between Galatia and uh, that one place at the bottom. The people who have like three provinces at the start, you know them. Probably know what I'm talking about. They're white in color on the map. Uh, Sweden and Muscovy are fighting. I guess Sweden's independent then? Yeah, I think they are. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if Muscovy will fight Uzbek. Oh. Oh, well, guy looks like they took some land from Muscovy. I don't think that should. I think that should be Muscovite. Muscovian land. I don't know. Muscovite land. Oh, it could be that Muscovy has instead conquered more land south than they start with. They'd certainly be expanding east. So now Nadar doesn't seem to be growing too powerful. Although, Menke looks like they're going to get pretty screwed. Uh, is that the Ottomans clearing that war? No, that's another group in fighting in Iraq. You can see there. Iraq swarm, that's interesting that they're a country. Cool. Yep, Timbuktu is taking a lot of Dagba with Looks like Henny, and uh, they just released Molly. Uh -huh. So yeah, Muscovy Na is fighting Novgorod in Sweden. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, the Teutonic Order is pretty big. Looks like they took some land from Lithuania, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it could be just that Lithuania is smaller than normal. I don't know. Hmm. Wonder what that bit of land is that Muscovy didn't take. Looks like it's probably Novgorod or somewhere around that province, but I wonder who owns it because it's an interesting maroon. Same people who own that one land somewhere in the middle of Denmark. Hmm. Well, great, we'll have auto saves every so often for a little bit until I remember. Sweden's fine. Well, Sweden's been taken over partly by Norway. So yeah, Sweden's definitely independent. Also, it seems to imply to me that Norway is independent. That or Denmark gave Norway the land. One of the two. Looks like Sweden has some rebel problems. Hmm. Uzbeks are expanding east, it looks like, because their name moved. Wonder what's going on over there. Hmm. Oh, Lomgo is taking over in the new world for that middle western province. Top is still Davanti. Yeah, they're still expanding out. They'll become a major player for a little while there. Um, ooh, the Ottomans took over Israel. So, yep, they're still expanding south. One more war and they'll have taken over all the man looks and they can focus more on the Arabian Peninsula. Yeah, that's what it's called. Duh. Oh, there we go. Muscovy's taken out some of Nogai, or maybe the Golden Horde did, and then Muscovy took out some of the Golden Horde. Actually, that's probably what happened because it's Golden Horde, not No Guy's Land, and then that isolated province. Uh, right there, if you'd pause, you'd see what that guy, that country that had been taken out of uh, Poland is. Looks like Poland's being swallowed by the uh, whatever Holy Order is there. Uh, yeah, the Mongos is getting bigger. Only a little bit of Scotland left. They'll probably disappear in one more war. Brittany just uh, took out. Where it was at their border. Hmm. Timbuktu still going strong. That's always good for them. Hmm. Sunni, Sunni is still pretty big. Tangri is still practically nowhere. Uh, Catholic. Oh. Forgot to look at the Reformation. It's still mostly in Scandinavia and Northern uh, HRE, it looked like, if I remember correctly. Uh, uh Nagai took some land. Was that from Muscovy? No, that was from the Golden Horde, I think. Looks like some land. I don't think that was rebels that flipped it to Muscovy from the Golden Horde, but it wasn't occupying, so who knows? Maybe event, maybe sold it. 
I don't think the AI solves problems as generally. Oh, it looks like the Ottomans are fighting Tunis. Nope, maybe not. And this is some other greenish coloring. Granada, that's those white guys in the south of Spain. So yeah, Granada and Galicia are pretty big and kind of split up in there. Meanwhile, France is slowly pushing south and Castile's still hanging on there. Aragon's practically gone. It's three more provinces I can zero. Well, they're being occupied by Galicia, it looks like, but practically no more provinces now. And it looks like there's some ally with Aragon, I suspect, because keep on flipping those two provinces in the southern Spain. Okay, what's going on? Ooh, Norway took out a large chunk of uh, that one place, Sweden, there, along with Denmark. Norway is getting pretty large. I wonder if they'll take out Novgorod and, or not. Probably not. Hmm. Very soon, I suspect the Ottomans will go and attack the Mamluks. Uh, must have been France helping to fight. Aragon maybe because they took some of that land, not Granada. Well, here's a closer inversion of Europe. Huh, that's interesting in uh, Ireland. It's an odd color. I think that's just occupied by England, but not sure about that. Could be something else. Uh, uh yep, big war going on here. So Granada, it's a little bit of Castile. There's that bit of Aragon sticking out of France. There's Morocco in the south, but. Oh, that's from Morocco that has southern Portugal, not Galicia. That's interesting. Though it makes sense since Granada is declaring the wars down there. They'd be taking land. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here's Asia. So, yeah, Uzbek is kind of big but very oddly shaped with Jarkland being big. China's just gone. There's a little bit of Ming there, but they're practically cut out. Uh, Japan isn't really unified at all. Madagascar is all owned by the same people. Oh, maybe this is actually the expansion because there's that bit of southern Africa. Eh, must have been wrong. I mean, it was just after that came out. Yep, Briat is getting big. Persia is still nice and kind of strong, rivaling the Ottomans almost. India is still a mix of vagina guard and the other blue people in Malva. It's going to be interesting if one of them comes out on proper if some uh, uh, Arab nation comes in and takes out. Uh, Australia is totally uncolonized. Oh, we have our first colon colony there by, I think it was Turb Derb Der. And you can see Obsidian Empire in the northern corner of the new, new world being fairly successful in taking everyone over. Oh, Norway had to give back some lands to Sweden. Along with, looks like Denmark gaining some land, so I wonder if Norway broke free and this was forced to release some of Sweden or not. It's interesting. Oh, yeah, Ottomans are at war with Tunis and that other place now. Finally, I finish off that one thing that I've totally forgotten the name of Mamlux and maybe take some Tunis. I think they do that. Now that they finish off the Mamlux and ignore Tunis, Tunis comes later. But they're now essentially the a tinier version of the Eastern Roman Empire. I mean, they need a little bit more Greece, but it's more or less the Eastern Roman Empire. Could go with Egypt and go. Yep, there they are. They're going south. Mm hmm. Get a little bit closer to Persia. There's still those like countries between Persia and the Ottomans, although I suspect they're probably being guaranteed by either Persia or the Ottomans. So that's probably why those haven't fallen. Omen, I think, is allied to Persia, which is, again, reason why they're big and not fighting. Well, they're not really big. It's just a wasteland. Well, they're kind of big. Timbuktu is still struggling to take total control, and Mali is pretty big. And meanwhile, they've been connected through the wasteland to uh, one guy in Northern Africa. So I don't know why they didn't just attack Timbuktu. I mean, it seems like a good opportunity to go south. Um, hmm. Yep, that guy in the northeastern middle New World. They're still getting sight. Oh, wait, they're pushed back, but they got more of it. See what I'm talking about, I assume. Hopefully. The kind of brownish one. Oh, Muscovy. Wow. I don't think that was just the Winnie land they took, but it was someone's land. 
But now I think they get punished by Nagai and someone else. I think at least, yeah, Nagai takes some land. Looks like, I don't know who that is who's sieging. I had to guess it would be Tamarid because of the color, but who knows. Hmm. Looks like there's a, uh, yeah, there's a Norwegian colony in the New World now. You see it right up uh, in the southern corner of the second middle island. Can't see where my actual mouse is pointing while I'm recording this, but you, hopefully you can notice it. It's light blue bit. Um, Persia got some land there. That's good for them again. And oh, some big war in that middle new world. Wonder so. Wonder if they want to take any land or get like big enough so we can actually read their name from this far out. Either way, we're also year sixteen hundred. Muscovy is still pretty big. Looks like Norway's being nope. Norway's attacking Sweden. If I had to guess, ooh, Iceland looks. Yeah, I think that's Iceland formed as an independent nation. Good on them. Oh, there's Britain's colony, and Norway's got a second one. Uh, it's north of their previous one. You can kind of see that their blue outline expanded. I think. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, Mus Novgorod's getting taken by Muscovy, and then. Nothing else is really. Well, lots of stuff is happening. Timbuktu and Mali are fighting. Looks like Timbuktu has the upper hand, although Mali's also. Nope. There goes Timbuktu getting some land sieged. Interesting to see who wins that. Yep, Muscovy took out Novgorod finally. Next is probably someone. Uh, Norway has their colonies as they slowly expand them. Mm, it looks like probably the Burning Empire is formed because of that big orange text in the new new world. Yep, there's the British colony, although I guess the Norwegians were first. I didn't notice that when I was actually doing this live watching. Waiting. Something still around. Not that I can see, but who knows. Ah, it's, maybe the Muscov Muscovy might fight Uzbeks next, or those people to their south. Eh, actually I don't think they'll fight the people to themselves. They'll put them into a border with Ottomans and Persia, two other big powers, and... Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, France wasn't taking out Galatia. Galatia the one? Yeah, eh, I think it's Galatia, because Granada's the white one. Actually, they might never take... No, I'm pretty sure they do. Hmm. Yeah, no one's even colonized that bit in... That one uh, province in Africa that's isolated just north of uh, Jolohi. You see, it's by Mali up there in the surrounded by wasteland. It's a good point for jumping down to South America, but no one's gotten it yet. So no one's been focusing on colonizing really in, I guess, Siberia. So I guess that's why they're mostly going to that one island that Britain has a few colonies on, as well as Norway, across from. All the high American tech group people. Ah, I'm just looking at that war. Oh, the Ottomans are fighting the other large uh, Muslim group. And Great Britain's probably formed by now, if I had to guess from the land they control. Actually, I probably already said that they have, or, or their name, because we did look at their colony. Eh, who knows? Who is that being colonized by? Missed it. Oh well. Yarkland's still doing well, surprisingly. Although the Timurids will probably fall semi soonish eventually. I mean, they're not doing too well for themselves and surrounded by large hordes. Yep, Persia and Ottomans have a border, and the Ottomans took out one of those few border states that the. in between them and Persia. Uh, Muscovy is f allied with Sweden. Ah, that's pretty good for them. I'll well, help them fight Norway or Denmark and protect against any wars against them. Yeah. Is there really a one elector there? I feel like I read that map wrong, but oh well. Hmm. Yeah, not really a whole lot going on. So Galatia and Andalusia. Oh, they formed Andalusia. That's a formable nation, right? Not just the one that starts out down there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. That's pretty neat. At some point, like I've been saying like five times, France will probably take out Galatia, but I don't believe they ever take out Andalusia. 
Uh, Castillo is still alive in the Canaries, from what I remember. And I think that's an Obsidian Empire colony in the very south of the new, new world. Yep, Britain's getting some more land. And if I'm not mistaken, who's that across from them? That, yeah, that is the, uh, I think the Navani, that high American tech group uh, with colonies bordering the Brit the British. Oh, looks like the knights who took over uh, Poland are doing some stuff, being attacked. That's good. 1629 out of 1821. All the years stick by. Hmm. We're not a lot. Eh. Air has some interesting territory. That north bit by the North African coast in that one little passage of between the wasteland. I wonder how they got that. Probably from all the land changing hands in that area. Surprised that no one's coming out on top first, although I'm still fairly confident that Molly will in the long run. Darkland expanding or shrinking there? Huh, looks like a new nation formed in uh, uh, India. Sorry, a bit late on that. Although, again, I don't know, this might soon be slightly off from the video compared to the audio. Um, hmm. So there's Britain, yeah. Sweden's doing pretty well for themselves still. France being pretty static. Ottomans pretty. Oh, nope. Eh, yeah, Autumn's still pretty static. Although there's Fazan, Tunis got split in half. Along with that other guy in northern, northwestern Africa. Messina is now a big power in middle Africa. And Hungary is kind of skinny. It looks like they took some land from that one guy who was released from Poland. And Bohemia did that as well. Uh, oh, Lithuania is being attacked by Muscovy, I think. Uh, it's Muscovy, it's Lithuanian Sweden versus Muscovy and Norway, if I read that right. It's interesting. Hmm. Anything interesting going on? British now has the colonial nation, I think. Judging from that. Navier is big. There's a blue one with a tiny name that's kind of big in the middle. And there's that one island. Really doesn't do anything to my knowledge. Norway still only has one colony. Actually, maybe two. So I guess there wasn't a second one. It's only one there in the New World. Uh, and Lucia, pretty static as well. Omen, did that say that? No, Omen is allied with Ottoman, it's not Persia. I guess I got that wrong earlier. Looks like there's some wars in by where those guys are called, but Middle Eastern Africa. By Kaffa right now. The other one of the recommended nations at the start of the game, yeah. yeah. Oh, yep, Great Britain's now established a colony in the larger New World, which, by the way, if you look closely, you can tell that's just a map of Europe that's turned upside down and then flipped around itself. Well, Europe and Asia, some scaling, but it's an interesting. I think that might have been the workshop tile, not the default game, but it could be. Uh, hmm. Stuff, stuff, mixed stuff, stuff. Yeah, not a whole lot of wars going on right now, so. Yeah, it's generally pretty cool, pretty chill. It's a lot happening here. We're already, wow, 28 minutes in. Well, 28 minutes, 53 for me. Ah, uh, ooh, Lithuania is starting to gain some power back or being attacked. One of the two. Okay, that's just Muscovy versus Sweden and Lithuania, so Norway dropped out or didn't join this war. I think Muscovy actually loses, if I'm not mistaken. At some point, I'm fairly certain that Muscovy loses. Could be a different game, I'm getting confused. Oh, Ottomans expanded east, that guy they released from Tunis. It's good for them. Slowly getting more of Africa. I mean, they'd be a pretty good start if you wanted to form, like, a Neo-Roman Empire. Here we go, zooming on the Ottomans. Or, I mean, the Muscovy. Muscovy. It's getting pretty screwed by everyone. Golden Horde there, some Lithuanian that they're east. A uh, little bit of that uh, Imperati, I think. 
Yeah, there's some land Lithuania took going directly east toward the capital, not bothering to take that bit in their southern bit area of their country. Yeah, it's gotta suck for them. It's kind of interesting how China's just like a bunch of like medium sized, like the Queen, the Kui, the Wu, however you say this. It's a bunch of medium sized nations there. Air is still maintaining its uh, size for a surprisingly long amount of time compared to most of what's been going on there. Britain aggressively colonizing the larger New World, taking the coast. Um, hmm. Siberia formed there, you can see. In the west of Uzbek, east of Muscovy. So yeah, some interesting stuff going on. Masina in Africa is appearing to be, no, I think that's actually air that's being aggressive, expanding to their west. I can't tell. Looks like no one's winning that war decisively. Must have been a white piece. Because I've seen more stuff getting occupied. That red guy in the new world is expanding. Yeah. Although, nope, there they go. Being attacked by guys in the north. Goldfield stays strong for a while, I remember that name. Could have like the entire southern half of there if they get lucky, but I'm still fairly certain that no one ever fully takes over the got really big island. Hans back to being relatively static. Very has been very stable. Kind of surprising there. Denmark still has their kind of odd land in Sweden. Surprise Sweden. Eh, Sweden's probably gonna take out Norway and then Denmark. They could form Scandinavia if they do that. Um Meanwhile I think at some point a Muscovy starts coming back. Might not. But they could. You never know. Oman getting a little bit stronger, helping Ottomans or making better prey for the Ottomans. Although I doubt they'd try that because Persia would just ally them and then you'd just gain nothing. Yay, more wasteland is colored the color of Muscovy, so it looks all big. We're so big. Even though it's just mostly wasteland. Hmm. Yeah, Hungary made a really effective wall against uh, the Ottomans in this game. Too bad for the Ottomans. They're stuck with expanding towards Tunis and that and really Persia, Omen. Can't really get into Europe. Oh, Muscovy is about to have some more land taken from them. It's a big war. Looks like even Sweden's gaining that action, if I'm not mistaken. The north sieging most of what was Novgorod, some other land. Muscovy only holding on to their eastern side, really, until that goes down. Yep, there's Novgorod, born anew. And will Sweden get some land from this? Yep, Sweden now has what was formerly Novgorod. Muscovy is just slowly going down. Ah oh, yeah, you can see now there's the Burning Empire, the Crimson Empire, the Ossidian Empire. Burning Empire is in the north, the uh, Crimson Empire is in the middle, and then Obsidians in the northeast. Um, hmm. You can also start to see France colonizing the south of the new New World. Can go slightly to southwest of my pointer and look at that semi light blue. That's France there. And at some point, Glacier comes down there. It's actually an island that's. No, wait, no, there isn't. Army. At some point, Glacia gets down there. I'm almost 100% certain. Um, hmm. Yeah, Novell or whoever that brown guy in the middle New World is. They have a nice large colony. Well, I suppose it's not a colony, it's still their land. Although, the, who are those red people in their, and I know they're not Great Britain, whoever they are, north of Goldfield is getting pretty strong, pushing them out of where their capital is, it looks like. Um, hmm. Is Lithuania being attacked by someone? Oh, wow. There goes Sweden taking out Novgorod now. It's expanding like a massive blob of blue. It's a different blue blob. A very different scary blue blob. This time they're in the north. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, the Timurids are almost dead to Persia now. Uh, India is still far from unified, except for the south of them. Uh, Jol Air is still pretty stable. Jolf, not really doing a whole lot. Long Funi, eh. So there are some minor changes going on there. Austria, not too big, not too small. Oh, it looks like Hungary had some land taken from it and given to whoever that reddish nation is. That I do not know. Yorkland is actually surprisingly big. Yeah, they stay around for a while. Along with the Uzbeks. Uzbeks have practically almost completely walled Muscovy off. Oh, yeah, Muscovy almost dies this game. Not for that little bit of wasteland and then some later rebellions they'd be gone. But Uzbeks have fairly effectively walled off the Mus Muscovy from colonizing. Look, there's a tiny bit of Muscovy somewhere. It might not be, actually. It could be dead, but they come back. Now Sweden's a big threat. Along with Lithuania regaining most of its land and then some. Good for them. Surprised the Ottomans haven't moved on Tunis yet, although, I don't know, maybe the truce. Still active, maybe they're friends temporarily, who knows. Oh, I think Italy's formed, or will form. Pretty sure they form at some point. Could be completely wrong with that. Yep, because they bring the Empire to the New World, they're pretty big. There's a few different major players there. Uh, hmm. Goldfield, yeah, there's now only one other guy in there. Little half of that island. Huh. It's interesting. Color changing in the new world. And did some of that just become part of the Burning Empire? And some of it become something else or what? New nation, some get annexed, who knows? Hmm. Well then stuff. Denmark's been, again, surprisingly able to hold on to its land and not get attacked, despite having land that I assume that Sweden very much wants, along with Norway. Uh, yeah, Hungary's gotten a little bit nipped off, or the quit what the uh, nation that attacked Hungary and got some land, or has had land given to it from Hungary. It's attacked by the Ottomans, so now they're bordering Lithuania. Cause some stuff to happen, maybe. Uh, France has a full colonial nation down in the southeastern New World, so that's good for them. Be one more nation to send reinforcements in their wars. Uh, Goldfield is expanding north. Yeah, get pretty big. Who knows? Maybe they'll do it. Maybe they'll finally be the ones to unite that entire island of high Americans. The tech group. Nothing else. Um, Dolly, Yarkland, Uzbek, all pretty big, kind of. Dolly gaining some land there. Although it's actually kind of small compared to Uzbek and Yarkland. Uh huh. Air connected all their territory now. Good for them. Maybe they'll finally. Uh, you want to unify that little area of Middle Africa, as I've been calling it, I guess. Mm. Bertalindi, Great Republic. So that's who has all that yellowish land. Interesting. Certainly have a lot of land, but spread between two islands, so it's going to make it difficult for them to either control one completely. 1730 practically, a few years before, but the good for our number. Only 100 years until the end, and only about 10 minutes until the end of this video. Huh, it's a new nation, Patanki in the eastern New World. Oh, Burning Empire stole some of their land. They're nice gray color blending in. Have a sizable chunk of land, and there the Crimson Empire is now eating that up. Then Rickland, it's a big one in what is modern day Turkey in the New World if you were looking at it as if it was actually Europe. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stuff happening. It's just not really noticeable stuff. It's kind of like completely unremarkable, but probably very important. Oh, air is getting a bunch of land siege. Ah, uh, yep. Morocco took some land from air and then made air release some uh, territory to or proceed it back to some other turn some land to someone. Uh, Ottomans again, still very very static. Oh yeah, France has like a chunk of the Holy Roman Empire. They took out Austria, split it in half. It's interesting. France just gets bigger and scarier. Sweden now has taken some land from Denmark and Norway, and that's good. One more war and they'd probably be able to form Scandinavia if they wanted to. It's going to be nice for them. Meanwhile, Burning Empire, probably the biggest uh, New World force. Hmm, new nation forming, or getting bigger there, Googie in Asia, below Yarkland. Oh, Persia is having some problems there. Is that the Ottomans attacking them? Actually, the Ottomans took some Persian land, so I assume it's post-Ottoman attack rebels. Yeah, good on them. On the Ottomans, that is. Let's make themselves bigger. Um, hmm. France will eventually take some more land from the HRE. That's kind of amazing that they're that powerful. So yeah, we have the Papal State. Oh, it's not quite Italy, but it's the Papal State. Pretty big. Uh, don't see any Aragon right now. Although, I'm fairly confident that Castile has some, still has the Canaries. Oh, they're Scotland up north of uh, Great Britain. I mean, that's what I was thinking of instead of Castile. They're both kind of yellow. See off the coast of Great Britain to the northeast, uh, whatever island that's called. Um, yeah, France has some nice uh, Holy Roman Empire land. Lithuania is expanded east a bit more. There it looks like. Yeah, the Ottomans got the wasteland to become their color, so I look even scarier. Morocco's expanding south. Maybe they'll unify everything. Probably more powerful. But who knows? Britain says that tiny colonial nation, along with Norway, who has a tiny nation in that new world, well, tiny province. One of those islands north of the yellow guys, uh, west of the British colony. Goldfield, Ryu, and Lang, something or other, has the high American side of the new world. Oh yeah, I still can't France there. Probably gonna look at a few nations here, I think. I do. Yeah. Oh, Andal- Oh, that's been Andal- Yeah, at some point Andalusia, rather than the- Whatever other nation had land there. Took over a bunch of junk in Middle America- Middle Africa. Missed that here, too. It's kind of hard to tell when that happens, because they have the same color. Meanwhile, they also have some colonies in the uh, southeastern New World. You can see some tan there along with the French and I believe British. British also have a bit uh, right next to the west of the uh, northern coast of the Obsidian Empire. And um, what else? Some other nations I think have a colony there but I can't tell from this far out. Hmm. Yeah, I, got, I think the Ottomans took a little bit more of uh, nor North Africa there. I'm not too sure. I still haven't... Oh, they've gotten some more land from that guy who whoever had South Lithuania. Uzbek's still big. Arkland has some territory sieged in their west. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the Andalusian I'm asking over right there. You can tell. And we have all that. Uh, Norway's down to one pro well, two problems because of their colony. But yeah, two provinces. Uzbek has some major rebels, so that's going to allow Muscovy to come back, I think. So that 
Bring that tan province. Oh, Commonwealth finally formed. It's gonna allow Sweden to form. Uh, or, uh, yep, there's Muscovy now. Bakura and Muscovy is back with that land that they got back in, like Siberia. I think that's Siberia. And there's a little bit north of the Commonwealth, some of that tan land there you can see by Sweden. Sweden's being attacked by someone, probably Lithuania if I had to guess. But they just took uh, Norway. There was a maybe there was a coalition against them. If I had to guess. Oh yeah, Goldfield has all that land. So Norway got released from Sweden. So Sweden's back to s not really square one, but they've been set back on their track to forming the. Uh, well, Ottomans are being sieged by Persia, but they're back on, set back and forming Scandinavia. Yep, Ottomans having some land there taken by Persia. They're losing, had one nation released from them, but are hopefully still friends with Omen to keep further losses. So what's their territory now? They're going to need a nice navy to keep that up. Bakara, they're having some rebel problems north by, of Sib their territory uh, cut off by Siberia. It's going to be interesting to see there. Yarkland shrunk uh, pretty largely from what we were seeing earlier in the game. Burning Empire is still largely a big force to be reckoned with, but the Crimson Empire coming to known in the southern half of uh, the New World. Annie's almost fully uniting uh, that northern island, taking out part of the Burning Empire, and now all the sandwiches between them from Holy One is uh, the British colonies, a uh, tiny bit of Burning Empire, and then that weird pink land that I can't read the name of. Britain, it looks like, has, in addition to a large or medium sized colony to the west of the Sydney Empire, they're getting a large uh, stack of land on the eastern side of that one place. And I'm stuck in the loading screen, so that is annoying. Come on, video, load. Okay, I'm a few seconds behind. 4641 in the videos where I'm at right now. Probably a bit. Yeah, you're about 10 seconds ahead. I will skip a little bit. And hopefully this will all work out well. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm now 10 seconds ahead. Close enough. Oh, hey, there's that French Australia. That's interesting. Sweden stabilized out. Haven't lost any more land to Norway or someone else. Commonwealth expanding, I think. Looks like I turned down my quality to make sure I didn't have any loading problems. Um, China is still largely divided. Um, Japan's been unified. I wonder when that happened. I miss it. France, the French have a nice large bit of land in the South African area. Cape of Good Hope, I think is what it's called. In addition to Australian holdings. Andalusia, they're expanding a bit more. Goldfield almost totally owning their land, but looks like someone's attacking them. Okay, they were pushed off. I suspect that was a naval invasion. France has taken more land from the HRE, if I'm really looking at that right. Some land to uh, connect their Austria more firmly to them. wonder if that was... I could see that being like maybe a, uh, a union, personal union annex or something. That would make a little bit more sense for how it would happen. Unless you're concerned how... Stuff happens historically with the Habsburgs. They were allied before the French Revolution. It is 1818, two years before then. Menawar now being a large force in northern India, with Vajanagar still being the large force in the south of India. But we will have no unified India this game. Ottomans looking like they're going to end the game, split up. And France being a pretty big blob. And that is the end screen with a few seconds left. You can see France came first, Great Britain, Ottomans, Portugal, Venice, Sweden, Commonwealth. All very big names. And yeah, so with that, I will end the video. Thanks for watching. If you like, comment, subscribe, check out the channel. Have a good day. Goodbye.